Today I'm going to do a little testing with how the APM 2.5 is affected by various outside interferences. Um, I've got the APM 2.5 mounted on my desk here. It's sitting on some gyro tape, so it has a little bit of play to it. So I'm not going to touch the desk while I'm working with it. Um, it is connected through my laptop right now, displaying the telemetry data on screen. I have the mag fields shown on the left, the barometer pressure in the center here, the yaw on the top, and the current uh, gyro uh, calibration value. This only seems to change whenever the APM is completely rebooted. Um, I do not see changes in this when it is armed or disarmed. Uh, the first I'm going to test is light interference. I've got a UV light here. It's not really visible too well under the camera. As you can see, the absolute pressure doesn't change a whole lot when I shine UV on the barometer. Next, I have a small LED flashlight. It's fairly bright, but it's kind of a bluish color. And it does change the pressure a little bit, and you can see the altitude varying as well. Uh, so it's definitely affecting the sensor. Next, I have a warm LED, and it's got a slightly more reddish tinge. And it also has an effect on the barometer. Um, but it doesn't seem to be as strong. And this is an IR flashlight. It's not really visible light, it's pure IR. Uh, it's an incandescent bulb behind a filter. And if I shine this on the pressure sensor, you see a big change. Um, you'll also notice that there's a change in the gyro being displayed on the field on the right side. Um, that doesn't seem to be the light because if I pull the, uh, the flashlight back, I can still see some changes to the, uh, the, the pressure, uh, but the gyro doesn't move. Uh, that actually seems to be associated with the temperature of the gyro. We'll ch actually do some more testing with that shortly. And finally, I have a 14 watt HID. This is the brightest point light source I have, and I'm going to shine that on the barometer and it has a, a effect on the uh, bar barometric pressure and it's, it's fairly strong. Uh, this is the about as bright as it would be if it were sitting in the sun outside. Um, it does seem that light that hits the barometer from an angle is much, has much greater effect than light that hits it from above. So light from the side, and light from above. And if you notice, there are some small changes in the gyro from the, the temperature changes of the light. And that's it for lighting testing. Okay, I'm doing a few more tests. The second test I'm going to do here is with the a small magnet. I've placed a large neodymium magnet inside of a little case here, just so it's a little easier to handle and you can see it's already affecting the, the mag field even if I get it uh, just a little bit closer to the APM and uh, what I've noticed is if you get really close the mag field will max out and hold and then when I pull it away as the mag field drops down it doesn't necessarily always drop back to its same value um, I don't know if that's residual magnetism on parts on the APM or the metal frame that's under the wood desktop surface here um, but it never seems to return quite to normal. Um, the magnet doesn't seem to affect the gyro in any way, so moving a magnet field around, magnetic field around doesn't change, seem to change the gyro. Uh, it also does not affect the barometric pressure. Uh, it has no problems figuring out how high it is while the, the magnet is present. Okay, the last test I'm going to do has to do with heat. Um, we check the temperature of the APM right now, it's about 93, 94, 95 degrees. Um, I've had it sitting here running for a while, so the temperature has been able to rise to operating temperature. Um, all of the values are stable right now, and I have a, a heat gun um, that I'm going to turn on. I've preheated it. The air that's coming out of here is about 200 degrees, and I'm going to kind of wave this over the APM here and give a little bit of warmth. And you notice immediately that this is having a drastic effect on the gyro. 
and it doesn't seem to be a very regular effect. More warmth doesn't equal more offset in one direction or another. Mag field is unaffected and the pressure seems to be unaffected. Okay, the APM is now at about 130 degrees. Um, this is approximately where I've recorded the APM after I've been flying outside in the sun for a while. So this is about normal operating temperature. Uh, and you can see my gyro offsets are now much larger than they were when I started. Um, and I can actually take a little can of air here and cool off the APM. And when I cool it off, the gyro values return to their original position.